Hello, I'm Robert Adute. This is yaymath.org, and this is presenting Teach on the Beach. I'm the Teach, that's the Beach. All right, thank you. Yeah, welcome, welcome aboard, right? It's my personal mission to not only help people love math again, but also to have human connections. And this is my new friend Mo, and from Montreal, flying back tonight. And uh, you're all welcome to join, and I want to introduce you to a couple of topics that I work with with the students that I have. Um, that they struggle with so that hopefully we can gain some love and some momentum for anyone that could be watching this, right? Starting with us, okay? So if I said yay math, would you repeat it? One, two, three. Yay math! Yay math! Rock and roll, rock and roll, never gets old. Okay, so forgive me, right? I'm doing this on purpose. I have to start with the iconic one plus one. Go ahead. Two, right, I know you know it. Right, that's part of the goal to start it like start it ease it in. We're talking about what integers are. All right, as a brief explanation for integers, they're basically um, whole numbers without any decimals, no fractions. Okay, negative and positive. So negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, all that. Okay, so we're not going to see any of the decimals on this particular lesson. All right. So what about one minus one? Call it out. Zero. zero. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Okay. What about negative one minus one? Negative two. Why? Why? Because you go in from lower to something even lower. From lower to something even lower. That's right. From lower to something even lower. So you could think of any metaphor you want. There's a banking metaphor. This would be one dollar of debt, right? And then this would be what is it? Am I spending a dollar or saving a dollar? Spending. spending. So if I have one dollar of debt and then I spend, oh, with pigeons. Pigeons find paws. Pigeons find paws, but they don't know. Whoa. So yeah, you spend a dollar, then you're at negative two. Another one I like digging, you know, below the ground. That's also cool. So if you're like already, because it's going to get crazy after this point. So if you're already like one foot below, and then you go one foot further, you're in minus two feet below the ground, right? It's shocking, I see people nodding, it's really cool. A lot of people struggle with this. It doesn't matter how old you are, they really do, you know? Because you know what they do? They end up doing little tricks and gimmicks. And I'm gonna share a song with you. Pigeons! So I'm gonna share a song with you that they teach you in schools. I'm not a huge fan of the process of singing a song with regards to learning, but I will share it because it's cute, okay? And if you want, you can join me in it after. I'll, I'll jot up the words, and it goes like this. Same sign, add and keep. Opposite, you know this one? No. You don't know already? Opposite sign. Subtract, subtract, keep the sign of the bigger number. Whoop. Then you'll be exact. Oh, it does rhyme. Pigeons, no. <laughs> You're like, Thank you for waiting for the rhyme, actually. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you'll be exact. All right, it's four lines. So I'll keep it up. Now, we can sing it, have a good time with it. But then, you know what? Don't use it. Maybe keep it in the back of your mind. Just be a person and be logical about going digging into the ground. Because when you start to memorize stuff, right? You know, you don't, we don't memorize phone numbers. We don't memorize any, like, we don't memorize stuff. History facts, right? We have to be problem solvers. That's basically the goal, okay? So I'll sing it once. Same sign, add and keep. Opposite sign, subtract. Keep the sign of the bigger number, then you'll be exact. All right, try with me. One, two, three. Same sign, add and keep. Opposite sign, subtract. Keep the sign of the bigger number, then you'll be exact. Well done, okay. Now forget it. 
<laughs> because, because that's no, yeah, because now we want to actually do numbers, you know? So let's try this. Let's try negative two plus one. Meaning, two feet below, come up one. Have we reached the surface yet? What is it? Answer, minus one, good. And then you got, so all these. All right, so I'm gonna hit you with the lightning round. It looks like I'm feeling a pulse that people need a challenge. So I hit you with the lightning. Uh, uh, the sign of the bigger number. So maybe you can use that, you know, to start out. But if I was two feet below and I went one further, where do I end up, homies? Yeah, yeah, you don't even go like that. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> boom. Yeah, thanks Mo, thanks for being up here. Yeah, so that's negative three, well done. Yeah, give him a hand, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Minus two, take it down five. Where are we? I love, I, people are thinking, that's all I want. I don't really want the right answer necessarily. I just want you to be here with me. Thanks. Uh, you could do this if you don't want to call it out, but negative seven, good job, good job. All right, negative two plus five, we're down two, and then come up five more, we're at, where are we? Three, that's right. Any questions about that? Is that all right? Is that cool? All right. If you start up two, then go down five. So you could do all kinds of things. Number line, number line works. Some people need number line, that's totally cool. One, that's a one. Uh, so, so it's like a day at the office, right? A negative one, a negative two, a negative three, and let's go pink. Here we are at two, woo! Where are we going, left or right? Say it again. Left, good job, left. How many spaces are we jumping? Five. All right, we got the little girl here. She probably does this in school, right? Do you know what this answer is? No, okay, no problem. Maybe after this one you will. Thanks for hanging out. All right, so we're gonna go five spaces to the right. And one, count it with me. Two, three, four, five. There we are, minus three. Have you done negative numbers in school yet? Only third grade, all right. Basically, it's just things that are below zero. That's what it is, right? So you start like zero, one, two, three, it's just on the other, other way, that's right. So if you start at two, right, and you go five less, two is more than five, same sign, add and keep, opposite sign, subtract. So what's five minus two? Three, keep the sign of the bigger number. In this case, five is the bigger number, you know? And then you keep that sign, okay. So, this is two minus negative five. Before we answer this question, I just wanna share a confession with everyone here hanging out on this beautiful sunny day in Venice Beach, California. Before we do two minus negative five, I wanna tell you something. I wanna say that I'm not, not happy that you're here with us. Am I clear? <laughs> Let me say that. I am so not unhappy that you're here, man. Rockin', did I make the point? Rockin', okay, cool, I'm glad. So the double negative is the same as doing what? Positive, right, so we could ask our friends to not speak in double negatives, you know? I did not, not like, not, not, not like the party, not, not, not like, not like what you are, not, 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 not like the food sushi. You could just be like, two plus five, you know, so, seven. That's it, okay? So a lot of people like to just do that, bang it through, okay? And so uh, that's it, we're gonna do like uh, one more lightning round and then that's it for this guy. If I 21 bucks three times, how much money do I have? You know it? 21 times three, 21, 21, 21. Thank you, I know that look, that means you're thinking about it. Thinking, thinking, all right. What's three, that's right, what's three 20s? 320, 63, oh, okay, oh, you already had it, but you're like, I'm not participating. I'm not adding to this. You don't gotta make me, yeah, 63. And then how many times is three going to 21? Seven, so basically, now just the rules with negatives. If one of these numbers is negative, answer is always gonna be? Negative, negative that's right, welcome. Same with division, if one of them is negative, answer is gonna be? Negative, that's right. 
And a negative divided by a negative is positive. That's right. And it works. It makes sense because how many negative threes are in negative 21? There are seven. That's right. There are seven. OK. And then the last two questions for the lightning round. Right? So it's something a little more applicable now that we have the nuts and bolts. Let's say it's negative six degrees. Anyone from uh, not USA? Not America? Anyone from, uh, yeah, you guys use uh, Celsius? Yeah, you're doing that? Yeah. That's a standard temperature, Canada? Yeah. <laughs> below, below, yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you're at minus six degrees, all right, and then it goes to eight. You could hold it up with two hands, something I do in my classes. What could I ask you first? First call that out. What could I ask you? I haven't asked the question. I said that the temperature went from negative six to eight. How much did it increase? Were you thinking that? So you want to call it, like you could do it with your hands if you don't want to call it out. How many? Call it out. I do. You could do it with your lips too, yeah. How much did it increase? You got it, good, good, you're on it, you're on it. Come on, you can say. Did it increase by two? That's a good question. Let's do it. If it was negative six, if it went up two, it would be at negative four. Let's do a thermometer visual. Woo, thermometer. Okay, here we go. Boom. So here's zero. Here's minus eight, very cold, very Montreal cold. Very cold. All right. So the hypothesis was going up two. I'm gonna like to do that together. We'll go blue because it's cold. Plus two is negative, oh, oops, negative six, my bad. See, I just made a mistake too. Thank you. No care. Push ups! Messed it up! Ugh. Ugh. Don't get it wrong. I won't. Okay. So that will be minus four. So now we've concluded that it's not up to, right? Do you want to try again? Okay. No problem. But you did, you, you did make a guess. So now we know what the answer is not. That's good. That's progress. All right. So a good trick for this, I'll take off this. A good way to approach this instead of like doing it all in our mind all at once was to just ask ourselves, how far is it from negative six to zero? Six, six, does that make sense? Six from negative six back to zero, six. So I'll put that in pink, because it got warmer, baby. So we went up six, rock and roll. And then how far is it from zero? Oh, I didn't put the eight. That's sort of by design, delaying the moment to let people think. There you go, you got me, you got this. Uh, how far is it from zero to eight? How far? Eight. Eight, eight very nice. Plus eight. So we went up six, up eight. Now one more try, you wanna try how much you went up by? Good job, well done, well done. You stuck with it, give her a hand, give her a hand. You know what happened? She said an answer, we proved why it wasn't. I asked her to try again. She politely declined. Then you came back and did it, and you got it. And uh, did that make sense? That makes sense, going up, up six, up eight, rather than like jumbled in the mind, you know? So I like to do that a lot, like you go into chunks, right? We could do that with one more problem. Well done, I appreciate your presence, that was great. There, see, surface, 20 feet below. Where is this the last one? Where's the dolphin going? Up or down? What do you want to do? Up or down? Up? Down. Down. Yeah, you hold their breath for a long time. Right. So their dolphin's going down. How far did it go down? How many feet? 17. 17. Nice. That's good. Minus 17. Good job, Mo. And so we're below further down. Okay. 37. Above or below? Minus or plus? I should have done minus or plus, minus. Right, right on. The moral of this story is that everyone is somewhere on the math line, right? And we could all sort of reach back and help each other forward. 
right? So this is a visual. This is my way to help people deal with what this problem is. Welcome. Hi. Do you like math? Do you love math? Do you love math? You do. Awesome. What, can you tell me what this problem is if I'm at 20 feet below and then I go 17 further? What is that math problem? What am I asking? Fire truck. Oh, they're going that way. This is awesome. Hey, honk if you love math. Math, 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 math. Oh, here. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's basically this. Well done. Yeah. Negative 37. All right, you guys, give yourselves a hand. Well done. Congratulations. We're learning math on the beach. This is a math teach on the beach with fire trucks. Peace.